أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم احمده و نسلی علی رسوله الكریم اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم والذاریات ضربا فالحاملات وقرا فالجاریات یسرا فالمقصبات امرا انما توعدون لصادق و ان الدین لواقع صدق الله العظیم بفور و پریس پروسید ویل صورت ذاریات I forgot to tell you that out of the three Madani surahs of the last group, two were definitely in the form of a pair. Surah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Surah Al-Fatr. But Surah Al-Hujarat was solitary, unique. It has no pair. In the same way, out of these seven Makki surahs, the first of which was Surah Al-Kaf, This Surah Qaf is unique and solitary. But the rest of the six Surahs are divisible into three pairs. And you will see that the same relationship between Surah Al-An'am and Surah Al-A'raf. In one Surah, you will find At-Tazkir bi-Ayyam Illah. In the other, At-Tazkir bi-Ala Illah. So for two groups, it is very evident. But the third and final group, that is a very unique group in the whole of Qur'an, we shall discuss later when we reach there, inshallah. Wazariyat is Arwan. By the scattering winds that scatter dust. We have one surah before which started in this style. Basafat is Affan. Fazajrat is Ajran. Faltariyat is Ikran. So that was Surah Al-Safat. And there we know that it was the angels you know, who are mentioned over there. But here, these are the winds. And you may note it, this reh, the Arabic for wind, reh, and ruh, for the soul, for the spirit, they are also very close. Wow and ya, they are actually huruf illat, weak alphabets of the Arabic language that take each other's place. Alternatingly. As I told you, Nar and Noor are very close to each other. So Ruh and Reh are also very close. By the scattering winds that scatter dust, then they are bearing a blood, that is, of the clouds. Then they are distributing the affairs, that is, whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands, the rain comes. Others, you know, keep dry. إِنَّمَا تُوْعَدُونَ لَسَادِقٌ What you are being promised is surely true. وَإِنَّ الدِّينَ لَوَاقِعٌ And definitely, the recompense is sure to happen. This is the main theme of these surahs. إِنَّمَا تُوْعَدُونَ لَوَاقِعٌ إِنَّمَا تُوْعَدُونَ لَسَادِقٌ وَإِنَّ الدِّينَ لَوَاقِعٌ Whatever is being promised with you, that a day will come, when you would have to stand before your Lord for that grand accountability, and then you know you will have to face the results of your deeds. In the matu adun ala sadikun wa inna dina la waake. What you are promised is surely true, and the recompense is sure to come. But samai zatil hubak by the heaven full of paths. In the kum la fi qarin muhtalifin. Surely you are at variance in your sayings. يُفَقُوا عَنْهُ مَا نُفِقْ Turned away from this truth is he who has been diverted. قُرِلَ الْخَرَّاسُونَ These conjecturers will perish. الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي غَبْرَةٍ سَعُونَ 
who are in an abyss and neglectful. Yes, Anun Ayana Yamuddin. They ask, when shall be the day of the of recompense, you say it will come, when it will come. Yawmahum ala nari yuftanoon. It will be the day when they shall be punished in the fire. Zuku fitnatakum. And it will be said, now taste your punishment. Hadha ladhi kuntum bihi tastajaloon. This is what you sought to be hissened. Inna al-muttaqina fi jannati wa'uyoon. Surely the God-fearing will be in the gardens and springs. آخذینہ ما آتاہم ربہم They'll be receiving that which their Lord will give them. إِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا قَبْلَ ذَلِكَ مُحْسِنِينَ They were before this, before coming here, in the hereafter, in the world, in their previous life. They were excellent in deeds, مُحْسِنِينَ كَانُوا قَلِيلَ مِنَ اللَّيْلِ مَا يَحْجَعُونَ They used to sleep but little at night. They used to keep awake. قُمِ اللَّيْلَ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا نِسْوَهُ وَبِنْ قُسْمِنْهُ قَلِيلًا وَبِنْ أَسْحَارِهُمْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ And again before the dawn, they used to ask the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَفِي أَمْوَالِهِمْ حَقٌّ لِسَّائِنِ وَالْمَحْرُومِ And in their wealth, there was a necessary portion for the beggar and the deprived. وَفِي اللَّرْضِ آيَاتٌ لِلْمُقِنِينَ And in the earth, there are signs. For those who are convinced or who want to be convinced. And within your own selves also, there are our signs. Don't you see? Can't you peep down into your hearts? And in the heaven is your sustenance and that which you are promised. So by the Lord of heaven and earth, إِنَّهُ لَحَقٌ مِسْلَ مَا أَنْتُمْ تَنْتِقُونَ This is surely the truth, just as you are speaking. Just we are talking to each other in the same way, this day of judgment will come. حَلَتْ آكَ حَدِيثُ ضَيْفِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ الْمُكْرَمِينَ Has the story of the honored guests of Ibrahim, alayhi salatu wa salam, came to you? Is دَخَلُوا عَلَيْهِ The angels, you know, which were sent to, to bring that chastisement to the two cities, two cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, which were destroyed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They first of all came to Ibrahim. We have read it several times. Is the Khalu alayhi. When they entered upon him, Faqalu salama. They said, salam, peace. Qala salamun. Now in reply, Ibrahim also said, peace. Qawmum munkaroon. But, you are a people unknown to me. I don't know you. Maybe this he said in his heart only. Faraga ila ahlihi. So he turned to his family. Fajabe ijlin sameen. And he brought a roasted calf. Fakarrabahu ilahim. And he laid it before them. Qalu la. Qala ala taakulu. And he said, Do you not eat? Fawja sabinhum khifa. So he conceived a fear from them. Because in those days, it was the practice of people who went somewhere to kill somebody. They won't taste the salt of that person whom they are going to kill. So, Ibrahim thought, alayhi salatu wasalam, that they want to do some harm to me. That is why they are not eating, you know, from my table. Fa'aw jasam in rumsifa. So he conceived a fear from them. Qalu la takhaf. They said, don't have any fear. Wa basharuhu bi ghulamil alim. And they gave him the good tidings of a knowledgeable son. For Hazrat Ishaq alim. And for Hazrat Ismail halim. As I told you, this word halim appears in the Quran either for Allah or twice for Ibrahim and once for Ismail. For nobody else in the whole of Quran. But compared to Ismail, he was termed Halim. Here, Ishaq is termed Halim. Halim. Knowledgeable. Fakmal Timratuhu fi Sarratin. Then came forward his wife, Hazrat Sarah Raziyallahu ta'ala anhu, with loud grumbling. Fasakkat wajhaha. And she smote her face, struck her face. Wa qalat ajuzan haqeem. And she said, 
an old barren woman. She was nearly 99 at that time of age. And all the life she had been barren. Hazrat Ibrahim was 100 years. So she said, is it possible? What are you saying? Ajuzu naqib. I am very old. And then I have been barren all the life. Talu kazalik. They said, this will happen. Tala rabbuke. This is the saying of your Lord. Innahu huwa al-hakimul alim. Verily, he is the wise, the knower. Tala famaqat bukum ayyuhal mursaloon. Now Ibrahim asked them, what's your mission? O oh, people who have been sent, O oh, messengers. They said, we have been sent upon a guilty, for a guilty people. So that we may send down upon them stones of clay. Not from your Lord for the criminals. Musrifin. Then we took out such believers as were there in, in that city. But we didn't find in that city except one house of the Muslims, house of Lut alayhi salatu wasalam. He himself and his two daughters, that's all. Not even his own wife. وَتَرَكْنَا فِيهَا آيَةً لِلَّذِينَ يَخَافُونَ الْعَذَابَ الْعَلِيمِ And we left therein a sign for those who fear the painful chastisement. وَفِي مُوسَى And also there are signs in the story of Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. إِذَا سَلْنَاهُ إِلَىٰ فِرْعَوْنَ بِسُلْطَانِ مُبِينَ When we send him to Fir'aun with the manifest authority. فَتَوَلَّا بِرُكْنِهِ He turned away arrogantly on account of his might, power. وَقَالَ سَاهِرٌ قَوْ مَجْنُونَ And he said about Musa, either he is a sorcerer or a mad man. فَأَخَزْنَاهُ وَجْنُودَهُ So we seized him and his hosts and armies. فَنَبَزْنَاهُ And we threw them فِي الْيَمْ In the sea. وَهُوَ مُلِيمُ And he was blameworthy. وَفِي عَادٍ In the same way, there are signs in the story of Aad. When we sent against them a barren wind, it, it left nothing it came upon. But it made it like ashes. In the same way, in the story of Samud, when it was said to them, now you can enjoy the comforts for a while. فَعَتَوْنَ أَمْرِ رَبِّهِمْ They revolted against the command of their Lord. فَأَخَذَتْهُمُ السَّائِقَةُ وَهُمْ يَنْظُرُونَ And so a thunderbolt seized them while they were beholding. فَمَسْتَطَعُوا مِنْ قِيَامٍ وَمَا كَانُوا مُنْتَصِرِينَ Now they couldn't stand up. They couldn't rise up. And nor they were able to defend themselves or to take revenge for themselves. وَقَوْمَ نُوْهِمْ مِنْ قَبْلِ And before them, the nation of Nuh, إِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا قَوْمًا فَاسِقِينَ Verily, they were also transgressing people. Now these were the أَمْبَاءُ الرُّسُلِ Lut, then Hud, Nuh, Saleh, all have been mentioned. Hazrat Musa, they have been mentioned. But about Ibrahim, not of that type, not Ambao Rusul, but only an event that the angels came to him and they had a conversation. And the heaven, we have made it with our own hands. What does it mean? With our own might. And we are able to extend the vastness of the space thereof. We can expand. Now this comes, or we should say, the theory of expanding universe comes very near to this. We have created the heaven and we can expand it. So that expansion, theory of the expanding universe, now this has come very close to this ayah of Quran. And the land, earth, we spread it. So how excellent spreaders are we? وَمِنْ كُلِّ شَعِنْ خَلَقْنَا غَوْجَيْنْ لَعَنْ لَكُمْ تَذَكَّرُونَ 
And out of everything we have created pairs that you may be admonished. Then what is the admonishment or reminding in this reality that everything has been created in pairs? There should be a pair of this life. Life of this world and the life of hereafter. They go to make something complete. Otherwise this life is incomplete. Here, whosoever doing wrong, he is not punished. Whosoever is doing good, he doesn't get the reward. So this is an illogical life of this world. It will be completed and become logical only when you add to it the life of the hereafter. So this is a couple. This earth and the sky, they are a couple. From there water comes and then earth gives out its vegetation. Just as man and woman, they both go to make, you know, a fulfill a purpose of procreation. Neither only male can procreate, nor only female can procreate, except Mary, Maryam alayhi salatu, alayhi salatu wasalam, but that was an exception by the command of Allah. But you need a male and a female for pro procreation. So this is everything we have created in pairs, that you may be admonished and reminded. فَفِرُّوا إِلَى اللَّهِ So run you towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِنِّي لَكُمْ مِنْهُ نَذِيرٌ مُبِينٌ Verily, I am a plain warner from him to you. وَلَا تَجْعَلُوا مَعَ اللَّهِ إِلَهًا آخَرٌ And don't set up with Allah another God. إِنِّي لَكُمْ مِنْهُ نَذِيرٌ مُبِينٌ Surely, I am a plain warner from him to you. قَزَعَلِكَ مَا أَتَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا قَالُوا سَاهِرٌ أَوْ مَجْنُونَ In the same way, whenever a messenger came to those who were before them, they always said, either he is a sorcerer or a madman, مَجْنُونَ أَتَوَاسَوْبِهِ Had they handed over some legacy, those people of the ancient had given this will to them, that you should also say the same to your messenger, which we said for our messenger, بَلُمْ قَوْمُ تَعْوُونَ They are a transgressing people. فَتَوَلَّ عَنْهُمْ So, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, you turn away from them. فَمَا أَنْتَ بِمَلُوم You are not going to be reproached. If they are not believing in you, if they are not responding to your da'wah, your call, no blame to you. You have to do your duty and that's all. They will be blamed. They will be blameworthy. They will be caught. They will be seized. They will be punished. You are not going to be reproached. But go on admonishing. Go on reminding. Because if this admonition or reminding is not benefiting these people, it definitely benefits those who believe. Repetition, repetition for the mu'mineen. Reminding and reminding and reminding. So that they are reminded again and again of their covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of their consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ And I have not created the jinn and the humans except for the purpose that they should obey me, they should worship me, they should love me, they should adore me. This Friday, you know, I gave this sermon, Friday sermon on this subject, this ayah. This is the purpose of creation. And I gave the Persian couplet of Shaykh Sadi Rahmatullah there. Zindagi amat barae bandagi. Zindagi be bandagi sharmindagi. This life has been given to us for worshipping and loving and obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I explained what is ibadah? Total obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Total. But with extreme love for Him. These two things go to make ibadah. Total obedience. You have love, but you are not obeying. This is cancelled. You are obeying, but not loving. This is also cancelled. Because you obey even the tyrants, even the dictators, even the oppressors. Is obeying Allah like that? No. Obey Him. But this obedience has to be total. From the depths of your hearts. Out of extreme love for Him. I don't want any sustenance from them. 
وَمَا أُرِيدُ أَنْ يُتَعْمُونَ I don't want that they should feed me. إِنَّ اللَّهُ هُوَ الرَّزَاقُ ذُو الْقُوَّةِ الْمَتِينَ On the contrary, Allah is Himself the bestower of sustenance and the Lord of power and ever strong. فَإِنَّ لِلَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا ذَنُوبَ مِسْلَ ذَنُوبَ أَصْحَابِهِمْ So those who do evil shall have their own portion, like the portion of their companions of the past. What happened to them will happen to these, these people also. فَلَا يَسْتَعْجِلُونَ So let them not hasten it. فَوَيْلٌ لِلَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ يَوْمِهِمُ الَّذِينَ يُعَدُونَ So woe to those who disbelieve for the day of theirs which they are promised. سورة التور بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والتور By the Mount of Tur وَكِتَابِ مَسْتُور And by the book inscribed فِي رَقِّنْ مَنْشُور in a parchment unrolled. Well, Bait al Mamur and the house always filled by angels. It is on the seventh heaven, the replica of Baitullah that is on the seventh heaven, Bait al Mamur. Always, you know, angels are circle ambulating around it, just as, you know, this tawaf goes on in the Bait al Haram. وَسَقْفِ الْبَرْفُوعُ By the roof which is elevated, that is the heaven. وَالْبَحْرِ الْمَسْجُورُ And by the sea which is swarming. إِنَّ عَزَابَ رَبِّكَ لَوَاقِعُ All these oaths are on this. Verily, surely, certainly, the punishment from your Lord is to come. It will come. مَا لَهُ مِنْ دَعْفِهِ there is none to avert it. Yawma tamuru samaw maura. Now a description of that. Zaldarat usaah. On the day when the heaven will shake with an awful shaking. Wa tasiru jibal usaira. And the mountains will move away with an awful movement. Fa vailu in yawma izillil mukazzibin. So go on that day to the disbelievers. Allazina hum fi khodi yalabun who in their vain talk are playing, not paying heed to what the messenger is saying, not considering it. But on the day when they will be pushed to the hellfire with a dreadful pushing, this is that fire which you had been belying. Is this a sorcery? Is this a magic? Amantum la tum sarun? Or are you not seeing it with your eyes? Islauha. Now enter it. Fasmiru or la tasmiru? Then bear it patiently or don't bear it. Go on crying. Sawaun alaykum. This will be equal to you. In the matrizona makuntum tamalun. Surely you are being rewarded and recompensed for what you used to do. إِنَّ الْمُتَّقِينَ فِي جَنَّاتِ مَنَعِينَ On the other hand, the God-fearing people will be in the gardens in bliss. فَاكِهِينَ بِمَا آتَهُمْ رَبُّهُمْ Rejoicing in what their Lord will be giving to them. وَوَقَاهُمْ رَبُّهُمْ عَذَابَ الْجَحِيمِ And their Lord will save them from the chastisement of the hellfire. كُلُوا وَشْرَبُوا حَنِيئًا Eat and drink pleasantly. بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ For what you had been doing. مُتَّقِينَ عَلَىٰ سُرُونِ مَسْفُوفَ Declining on the couches which will be placed in rows. وَزَوَّجْنَاهُمْ بِحُورٍ عِينَ And we shall espouse them with wide-eyed hurries. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَاتَّبَعَتْهُمْ زُلِّيَتُهُمْ بِإِمَانٍ And those who believe and their children, their offspring, also follow them in faith. أَلْحَقْنَا بِهِمْ زُلِّيَتَهُ we shall join with them their offsprings. وَمَا أَلَتْنَاهُمْ مِنْ عَمَلِهِمْ مِنْ شَيْءِ And we shall not diminish anything of their deeds. That is, if the father, he has the right to go to a higher Jannah. The sons and daughters, they are women. This is the condition. But they are not up to that level. So they can't go to that level. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the sake of those who deserve the hard level, he will raise the level of the sons and daughters progeny and he will 
टेक देम टू टू द फादर और द पेरेंट्स मदर विदाउट डिमिनिशिंग द लेवल ऑफ द ओरिजिनल दे विल नॉट कम डाउन टू बी विद देयर विद देयर ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स बट द ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स विल बी टेकन अप कुल्लु कुल्लु रहीम बिमा कसब रहीम Every man is pledged against what he earned. We am the drawn by faqi hatin wa lahbi mimma yastaun, and we shall aid them with fruits and meat, whatever they desire. Yet another one of yah kasan, and they will be snatching from one each other in playing. The cup from each other, la langun fiha bala tasim, in the wine of that cup. There will be no vain talk, no sin. We are too far away from the manul dahum, and their own boys, youth, will be going round round them, and these boys will be kan nahum lo lo makmul, as if they are hidden pearls. Wa akbar abazu mala baziyat ansa alun, and now some of them will turn to the other and question. Talu. انا كنا قبل مي في اهلنا مشفقين now they are in jannah but they are saying to each other surely we were before coming here in that world in we in our families we were ever fearful of the hereafter we didn't know what will happen to us we didn't we were not sure that allah subhanahu wa taala will forgive our sins last night we read why nadri ma you follow me wala bikum i don't know what will be done to me Or to you, so the true believer is always fearing here. He never has the confidence that I have done very good deeds, so I deserve nothing, nothing of that sort. The Prophet once said, "Nobody will be able to enter Jannah on the basis of his deeds only, unless the mercy of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala pulls him up." And somebody asked, "Even you, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam?" Is this rule applicable to you also? He said, "Yes, to me also." Illa anta hamma dani Rabbi bi rahmatihi, except that Allah covers me with His mercy, even I won't be able. So there is nothing, you know, that we should be sure. Inna kunna qabl fi ahle na mushfiqin, fa man Allahu alayna. So Allah has saved us. Nawa kana azab asmu, and He has saved us. From the chastisement of the burning wind. Inna kunna min kabul na druhu, but in that life also, yes, we used to call upon him. Inna hu huwa barul rahim. Verily, he is the most kind and the most merciful. So zakir fa man ta bini ma tarabi ka bi kahinin aw bala majnoon. So Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you go on reminding them, admonishing them, because you are not. From the blessings of your Lord, neither a soothsayer nor a madman. Am yakuru na shairu na tarabba subehi rabbil manun. Are they saying that he is a poet, and we await some calamity of time to befall on him? Pul tarabba su. Fine ni maaku min al mutarabbi sin. Say to them, await. I shall also be waiting with you. Am tamur hum alau be haza. Do their intellects tell them this thing? That this person is mad or poet, ab hum kawun taahun, or they are rebellious. Their own intellects are not testifying to this, but out of their rebellious, you know, attitude, they are saying this. Am yakuru na takawala hu, bala yu menun. Do they say he has invented it? Nay, they do not believe. Faliyatu be hadisim misli. If they say. That he has forged it, he has composed it, he has written it. For yatu be hadisim mislehim kanu sadikin. If they are truthful, that they should bring forth a discourse or a recital like this. Am khuleko min ghairi shayin. Am humul khalikun. Very important ayah. Were they created by none, or are they the creators? Did you create yourself? No. Could you be created without any creator? No. There can be no answer except no. 
ہم خلق کو من غیر شعین اب ہم الخالق ہم خلق کو سماواتے ہوئے لرد ہیو دے کریٹڈ دی ہیون دی ارتھ بلا یو کین اون بٹ دے ڈونٹ بلیو اینڈ دے آر کنوینس ڈاٹ کنوینس ٹو اینی تھنگ ہم ان دم خزائن اور امبے کا ڈو دے پوزیس دی ٹریئرز آف یور لارڈ ہم ہم المسحت الون اور آر دے دی ڈسپینسرس دی ڈسٹریبیوٹرس ہم لہم سلم یس کم یو نفی ہیو دے گاٹ اینی اسٹیئر وے اینی لیڈر ان وچ دے لسن ٹو دی ورلڈ آف دی انسین فلیات کے مستمع سلطان مبین سو لیٹ اینی ون آف دیم ہو ریسنس ہی شوڈ برنگ اے کلیئر اتھارٹی نیئر آف ہم لہ البنا تو الکم البنون آر فار ہم ڈاٹرس اینڈ فار یو سنس ہم تسل ہوں اجر ڈو یو آس محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم فرام دیم اینی ویج اینی اینی ریوارڈ فہم میں مغر میں مسکرون اینڈ دے ہیو بین اوور برڈنڈ بائی دی ڈیٹ بائی یور ڈیمانڈ ہم ان دہم الغیب فہم یک تو بون ڈو دے ہیو دی نالج آف دی انسین اینڈ دے آر رائٹنگ اٹ ہم یو ری ڈون اے قیدن آر دے ٹرائنگ ٹو پلاٹ اینڈ کانسپائر اگینسٹ محمد فل لذین کفر ہم المکیدون بٹ دے آر دیم سیلس کارٹ ان اے پلاٹ ہم لہم الہ غیر اللہ ڈو دے ہیو اینی گاڈ ایکسیپٹ اللہ سبحان اللہ ہے اماری شکون اللہ از گلوریفائڈ فرام وٹ دے آر ایسوسیٹنگ ود ہم وہی یو کس میں نہ سمائے فاقت اینڈ اف دے سی دیٹ اے فریگمنٹ آف دی ہیون از فالنگ ڈاؤن پر یقون صاحب مرکوم دے ول سے اٹس دی اونلی کلاؤڈ کلاؤڈ اے ماسٹ جسٹ ایز یو نو دی قوم آد وین دیٹ چسٹائسمنٹ آف اللہ کیم دیٹ thought that this is cloud, it will rain. They were enjoying. فَذَرْهُمْ حَتَّى يُلَاقُوا يَوْمَهُمُ الَّذِي فِيهِ يُسْعَقُونَ So leave them, O Prophet ﷺ. Leave them alone. Till they meet their day, in which they shall be thunderstruck. يَوْمَ لَا يُغْنِي عَنْهُمْ كَيْدُهُمْ شَيْئًا Or that day, when their plotting will avail them of nothing. وَلَا هُمْ يُنْسَرُونَ No, they will be helped. وَإِنَّ لِلَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا عَذَابًا دُونَ ذَلِكُ And surely for those who are doing these evils, committing these evil deeds, there is a chastisement before that also. That chastisement, final chastisement, عَذَابَ الْأَكْبَرُ Before that, small chastisements can come. Then this can be the chastisement of the hereafter. Before that, the chastisements in this world, And number two, in the graves. بَلَكْ سُبَلَاكِ النَّا أَكْسَرَهُمْ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ But most of them know not. وَسْمِرْ لِحُكْمِ رَبِّكْ So be patient and wait for the command of your Lord. When after sabr there is this laam, وَسْمِرْ لِي It means wait. Don't take any hasty step. You have to wait the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, Hazrat Yunus alayhi salatu wa salam only committed this mistake. He didn't wait for the command of Allah to come to permit him to leave his nation and go away. He went away by his own, on his own. So he was punished. Was birli hukmi rabbik. So you have to wait for the command of your Lord. Fainna ka bi'a yunina. Because you are in our sight. We are seeing you. Whatever is happening to you, we know it, we are seeing. وَسَبِّهِ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ حِينَ تَقُومِ And you glorify your Lord with His praise when you arise, arise in the night from the sleep or you arise in the day to pray. وَمِنَ اللَّيْلِ فَسَبِّهُ And in the hours of the night glorify Him. وَإِدْبَارَ النُّجُومِ And at the setting of the stars, when the stars set, now the night is going, the dawn is come. So that is also a time when you should have tasbih and tahmeed. Now the setting of the stars, with the mention of the setting of the stars, this surah At-Tur ended. And Surah Al-Najm starts with this. Surah Al-Najm and Surah Al-Qamar, they are a pair. You will find in Surah Al-Qamar, the Ambaw Rasul, the big news of the messengers of Allah. But in Surah Al-Najum, it's all Tazkir bi'ala illah. 
بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ون نج میں ازا ہوا بائی دی اسٹار وین اٹ گوز ڈاؤن ماں بول صاحب حکم اما گوا یور کمپینین دیٹ از محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ہیز ناٹ گون اسٹرے نور ہیز ہی ارڈ ڈونٹ تھنک ہی از کمیٹنگ سم مسٹیک ون ہی سیز آئی سو دی اینجل ڈونٹ تھنک ہی ہیز بین پوزس بائی سم ایول اسپرٹ نو نو وما ین تک وان الحوا اینڈ ہی ڈز ناٹ اسپیک آؤٹ آف ہز اون ڈیزائر ان ہوا اللہ یو ہا شورلی دس قرآن is nothing but a revelation revealed to him. Allamahu Shadidu Kowa And he was taught by one who has very mighty power. And this is denoting Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam. Shadidu Kowa Zu Mirra He is strong and perfect. Tastawa So he stood straight. Wa huwa bil ufuqil a'la And he was on the uppermost horizon. Summa dana. Then he drew near. Fatadalla. And hung down, suspended. Fakana kaaba qawsani awadna. Then he was within two bows length or even nearer. Fa'awha ila abdihi ma'awha. Then he revealed to the servant of God what he revealed. These ayat are interpreted in many ways. But I agree with those who think this incident was when Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saw the angel Jibreel in his own original angelic form in the horizon. This is given in, you know, authentic ahadith. He was coming down from the Jabalul Noor, the Mount of Light. And there is the cave of Hira at the top of that mountain of light. He was coming down. So he heard someone say, Ya Muhammad. He saw there, right, left, front, back, nobody was there to be seen. So he had some fear. What is it? Then he walked a few steps more. Then there was again, Ya Muhammad. Again the same thing. He looked to the left or the right. Nobody to be seen. So his fear was increased. Then after a few steps again, Ya Muhammad. Now, suddenly his eyes rose into the horizon. And he saw Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam. And he was in the full form of an angel. Otherwise when Jibreel came to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam in the form of human beings. And Dehya Kalbi radhi Allah ta'ala who was one of the very beautiful, handsome, companions of the Prophet, and usually Jibreel came in the form of Dehya, Razi Allah wa'an. But here in Jibreel wa'an, all the horizon was full of him. His, this angel, how can we say, and how he recognized it in Jibreel, because when the first one he had come, he had seen him. But that was, Bainan Naume Wal Yaqza. At that time, he was neither sleeping, nor awake, in between the two conditions, semi-sleeping condition, the first way he came, Itra bismi rabbika al-lazhi khalaq, khalaq al-insana min alaq. When Jibreel hugged thrice Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he said, Iqra, and the reply was, I am not a qari, I don't need. So he hugged him. So now he recognized. But then he was full of, you know, fear. The awe of Hazrat A. But then Hazrat A, Jibreel came down. And his, his relation, his connection with the heaven was not broken. As if something, you know, hangs down. And then he sent the vahi. And what was that vahi? The first seven ayat of Surah Al-Muddassir. Ya ayyuhal muddassir, um fa anzir, wa rabbaka fa kabbir, wa siyabaka fa tahir, wa rujza fajur, wa la tamnun tastaksir, wa li rabbika fasbir. So this is the shani nuzul of these ayat which appear in the beginning of Surah Muddassir. Ma karab al-fuad umara. The heart didn't lie, belie that what he saw. Does it mean? 
Sometimes you see something, but you have doubt. But what I am seeing, is it okay? It is correct? Am I awake or I am seeing, seeing a dream? I am seeing it in actuality or in a dream. But whatever the eyes of Muhammad saw, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his heart confirmed, not belied it. Afatumarunahu ala ma yara. So, will you then dispute with him as to what he saw? Walakad rahu nazlatan ukhra. And he had seen him once more. Jibreel, only twice Muhammad saw him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in his own original form of the angel. One was this, on the horizon, and the other was on the night of ascension, when Jibreel took him. But till the, this, the Siddhatul Muntaha, he was disguised. But at the Siddhatul Muntaha, he then, was, he presented himself to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his full angelic form, and that was the second time when Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam saw Jibreel alayhi salatu wasallam as a full angel, in original form of an angel. And he had seen him once more also in the Siddhat al-Muntaha by the low tree of the utmost boundary. That is the actually boundary, Lahut, Nasut, you know. Beyond that, Jibreel couldn't go. So that was the boundary. This world of Amr and the world of creation. Is Yaksha Sidrata Maya Shindaha Janatul Bhava. Near that low tree, low tree, there is the garden of a mode. That is also very near. In the Hajanatul Bhava is Yaksha Sidrata Maya Yaksha. When the low tree was surrounded by what was surrounding it. You can't understand and we can't explain in your language what was surrounding it, what was coming down on that tree, the anwar, the lights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our language cannot express them. So, ma yaksha is yaksha siddhata ma yaksha. When you know that tree was covered by by what, what, what was it covered by? Ma zaghal basar wa ma tagha. This ayah is very important. The eye swerved not, nor transgressed. What does it mean? If you try to look a very strong light directly, your eye will not be able to stand it. You will turn. It didn't happen with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His eyes kept seeing. He had that capacity. But also there are limits. If you are in the presence of someone who is very big, very high, you don't lift your eyes more than a certain limit. So this was also there. The, the eyes of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not cross the limits of abdiyah, ma taga, neither transgressed the limits of abdiyah. He was abd of Allah. Allah was the Lord of him. So, though both things, you know, neither the sight swerved nor it transgressed. And there is a very beautiful couplet of Iqbal. And I could understand this ayah only after reading that couplet. Aine visal mein mujhe hausla-e nazar na tha. Hausla-e nazar. The courage to see. Here the opposite of this Iqbal is has put there. Aine visal mein mujhe hausla-e nazar na tha. When I was very close to my beloved, I didn't have the courage to see her, see her or him, whatever it is. Although my, you know, sight was not muaddab and it tried to, you know, transgress. So I was trying to transgress, but I couldn't see. Aine visal mein mujhe hausla-e nazar na tha, 
گرچے بہانہ جو رہی میری نگاہ بے ادب بٹ ہیئر ما زاغ البسر وما تغا نائدر سائس ورڈ نور ٹرانسگریس دی لمٹ لقد رام ان آیات ربی کمرا ویریلی ہی سو دی بگیسٹ سائنز آف اس لارڈ دا کنٹروورسی ویدر دی پروفٹ سو ہم اللہ اور ناٹ قرآن ردن کنفرم اٹ قرآن ردن سے محمد سو اللہ ہیئر آلسو گریٹسٹ سائنز آف اس لارڈ دی گریٹسٹ سائنز آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ور دیئر ایٹ دیٹ جنکچر یو نو آف دس ورلڈ اینڈ دی ادر ورلڈ افر آئے تم اللہ تبلوزا نو دس واز ایکچولی اے ڈسکرپشن آف دی ہیونلی پارٹ آف می راج دی ایسینشن اٹ ہیڈ ٹو کمپوننٹس ون دس ورلڈلی فرام مسجد الحرام ایٹ مکہ ٹو مسجد الاقصہ ایٹ جیروسلم دین فرام دیئر ایسینشن ٹو دی ہیونس سو دس از مینشن ہیئر And the first is mentioned in the beginning, first ayah of Surah Tubani Israel. Now the deities that they had concocted. Have you ever considered the Laat and Uzza? Wa manat as-salisat al-ukhra and the manat, the other third. Alakumu zakaru wa lahul unsa. Are for you males and for him, Allah, females. تلکا ایزن قسمت الزیزہ ناو دس ایز ایوری انجس دیویجن انہی اللہ اسماؤں سمائے تو موہان تو واباؤ کو دیز آر اونلی نیمز یو ہیو کنکوکٹڈ دیم یو اور یور فادرز ماندر اللہ بہام سلطان اللہ ہیز نوٹ ایٹ آل سیٹ ڈاؤن اینی اتھارٹی اور اینی پروف فر دیم این یتبعون ایلہ زن دی آر اونلی کنجیکچرنگ دی آر فارونگ اونلی their guess and conjectures. وَمَا تَعْوَ الْأَنفُسِ And also, what their animal souls desire. وَلَقَدْ جَاهُمْ مِنْ رَبِّهُمُ الْحُودَى But now to them, the real guidance has come from their Lord. عَمْ لِلْإِنسَانِ مَا تَمَنَّا Shall man have whatever he wishes? فَلِلَّهِ الْآخِرَةُ وَالْأُولَى But in Allah's hands are the hereafter. as well as the first, that is this life. This life is also the life in the head of Allah. He gives to whomsoever He likes more, and He gives to whomsoever likes less. وَكَمْ مِنْ مَلَكِمْ سُسَمَّابَاتِ لَا تُغْنِي شَفَاعَتُهُمْ شَيَعَ And how many angels are there in the heavens? Their intercession will not be of any avail whatsoever. إِلَّا مِنْ بَعْدِ يَعْضُنَ اللَّهُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءَ وَيَرْضَى Except that Allah gives leave to whomsoever He wishes and first whomsoever He is pleased with. Two conditions. Leave to the intercessor. Yes, you can say something. And about the person, about whom you are going to say, there is express permission needed. In the Ladina la yuminuna bil akhira, where is those who don't believe in the hereafter? They are naming the angels with female names. They have no knowledge of it. They are following only their conjectures and nothing else. And you this guessing and conjectures cannot avail you against truth. So, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, You turn your attention from those who are Arid Amman Tawalla, who are turning their backs towards you. Anzikrina, from our admonition. Walam yurid illa al-hayat al-dunya. And he doesn't desire anything except this world. Zalika mablaguhum min al-ilm. This is their attainment, final knowledge, final attainment. They can know only this world, not the hereafter. ذَلِكَ مَبْلَغُهُ مِنَ الْعِلْمِ إِنَّ رَبَّكَهُ عَالَمُ بِمَنْ ضَلَّ عَنْ سَبِيلِهِ Verily, your Lord knows better who has gone astray from his path. وَهُوَ عَالَمُ بِمَنْ اِحْتَدَى And he knows better who is rightly guided. وَلِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ And verily, to Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. 
so that he recompenses those who did wrong things, bad things, for what they did. And he should reward those who did good deeds with the fairest reward. Who are those who avoid the great sins and indecencies? Now this subject, I got it noted in Surah Tushura. الَّذِينَ يَجْتَنِمُونَ كَبَائِرَ الْإِسْمِ وَالْفَوَاحِشِ وَإِذَا مَا غَضِبُوا هُمْ يَغْفِرُونَ So this is a very important subject. And this is the third time it is appearing in the Quran. First of all it came in Surah Al-Nisa, then in Surah Tushura, and then third time here. Greater sins. You take care of greater sins. The smaller sins Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will pardon and excuse. But whosoever is very sensitive about very small things, generally we see that he is committing greater sins. He is involved in riba, interest, usually. But he is very sensitive about, you know, he has raised his hands or not. Where he has, he has, you know, folded his hands, here or there. About these things, they are very, very particular, very sensitive. Who avoid great sins and indecencies, except small offenses. In the Rabbaka Vasir Mafra, definitely your Lord has very vast forgiveness. He very well knew you, is Anshakum in Allah, when He was raising you from the earth. Why is Antuma Jinnatun Fi Umbutune Umbhatikum also? When you were embryos in the wombs of your mothers. So do not hold yourself purified. Allah knows you. You were there. You were a drop of sperm. And then, you know, this fetus in the womb of the mother. He very well knows who is really God-fearing. So, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa have you considered whom who turned away Mostly people think that this is the citation of an example of Walid bin Mughira. He was one of the big chiefs of Quraysh, a very wealthy person. He had many sons. <coughs> Khalid ibn Walid, Razi Allahu An, Saifun bin Suyufillah, he was son of Walid bin Mughira. Khalid bin Walid, Walid bin Mughira. He came to Islam very near, very near. He was just about to accept Islam. But then, you know, he thought of his position, that he will be boycotted in his society. His position won't remain the same. So this got him stuck and didn't accept openly. But he had reached very close. Have you considered the person who has turned back? And he leaned towards believing for a while, but then stopped. Aata qaleel al-waqta. Aindahu ilmu al-ghaybi fawa yara. Does he have the knowledge of the unseen? So that he sees it. Am lam yunabba bi maa fi sof al-uda, sof al-Musa. Was he not informed of what was in the scriptures of Musa alayhi salatu wa salam? Wa Ibrahim al-lazhi waffa. And the scriptures of Ibrahim, he who faithfully fulfilled Allah's commandments and he passed all the tests that Allah asked him to pass through. Allah tazeru wazanatum vizra ukhra that no burdened soul bears the burden of another. And that there shall be for no man anything except that for which he makes effort. And that his effort shall soon be before him. It will be seen. Summa yajzahu jazaa al-awfa. Summa yajzahu jazaa al-awfa. And then he shall be recompensed and rewarded with the fullest recompense. Wa'anna ila rabbika al-muntaha. At that, the final end is unto your Lord. Your return is towards your Lord. Wa'anna hu huwa azhaka wa'abka. And that it is he who makes someone laugh and someone weep. And that he is one who put to death 
and who keeps a life. Vandahu khalaka zaujain, azzakara balunsa. It is he who has created pairs, spouses, the male and the female. Min nutfatin, from the same sperm drop, iza tumna, when it is emitted out. Vanna alayhi nashatan ukhra. And that on him it is the responsibility of another creation. Is due upon him. Because the reward of the people that is due on him to be paid to the people. So, alayhin nashat al It is binding on him, so to say. Although we can't say anything is binding on Allah. But, kataba ala nafsi rahma la yajmanna ku ila yawmil qiyama. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bound himself by his mercy that he will definitely gather you on the day of judgment. Why? Those who suffered for my sake, if they are not rewarded, it means it's the biggest injustice. If there is no resurrection, if there is no life hereafter, those people who suffered for the sake of truth, who sacrificed, well, they go unrewarded. This is against justice. So it is must for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to create again. Wallahu huwa aghna wa aghna. And that it is He who enriches and bestows contentment. Wannahu wa rabbu shayra. And that He is the Lord of the star Sirius. Sirius was a star, star which the Arabs used to worship. Wannahu ahlaka adari lula. And that He destroyed the former Aad, wa Samuda. And also the Samud, the nation of Samud, Fama Abqa. And he spared none. The common Nuh in common. And before them, the people of Nuh, in the Hum Kanu, whom Allah Bawatra, verily they were exceedingly evil and excessively inordinate. Well, Motafikata Ahwa, and those subverted townships, he overthrew them, the Sodom and Gomorrah. Fakashaha Magasha. After they were overturned, then they were covered with that which was with which they were covered. So, which of the graces of your Lord you will dispute and belie? This, that is Muhammad is also a warner from amongst the former warners which had been coming. Musa, Isa, Hud, Saleh, they were the warners. Azifatil Azifah. The near hour has come very near. La salam in dunillahi kashifa. None beside Allah can avert it. Afamin hazal hadith at ajabun. So do you wonder at this discourse of recital, this revelation of Quran? Pachaz hakun wa la tabkun. And you laugh and not weep. You should weep for what is in store for you. What chastisement? You will be you will be getting, and you are laughing. But as hakuna wala tabkun, and you are laughing and not weeping. Vantum samedun, and you are just amusing yourselves, playing, mocking. Fast yudulillah abud was abudu. So prostrate before Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and worship Him and love Him and obey Him. This is. آیا آف سجدہ سو بیک سجدہ بارک اللہ لی و لکم فی القرآن العظیم و نفعنی و ایاکم بالآیات و ذکر الحکیم The Islamic Organization of North America, Iona is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction iman, in one's heart. 2. A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. 4. 
a Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing Iona is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at t-a-n-z-e-e-m dot u-s or call our toll-free number 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together we can make a difference.